Good morning, people of the internet. Well, it's actually good afternoon, people of the internet. A beautiful sunny afternoon. I've just taken a break for lunch while I um, got to get rid of my headache. If you've seen my video earlier, or probably, it's probably a separate video, I did the dog food cover this morning and um, yeah, I've got a bit of a migraine, I think. But I'm going to crack on and uh, do the cleaning cupboards as well. So, don't worry, there's no knickers saying, you know, it's a baseball cap and some jumpers, sweaters, whatever you call them. But anyway, sunlight's really affecting my eyes. I'm coming back into the darkened kitchen. It's not actually that dark in here, but... Anyway, let's get you on the tripod and let's get down and do these two cupboards, which um, have cleaning materials. This one's just a sort of mishmash of stuff, and this is your typical under the sink one. So let's get everything out on the side, ready to go. Washing machines last longer with no washing machines last longer with Calvin. Right here we are, and I've laid some of it out on here, the rest of it's on there because it's let's just see if there's anything that matches what I have on here. So that's another air freshener. That's bin bags, bin bags, bin bags. Right, let's just move these out of the way. So these, in my handy parcel peg tin, are actually pegs for the washing line. And also, these balls that you get in the parcel. Look how many I've got. Probably hundreds of them. Probably don't need that many. Let's have a look. You know, with these things, you get one with every bottle. I don't always pop them out. But sometimes I do. There's a special red nose one I'm going to keep. <laughs> See, we're lining them up here. Look. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to keep one, two, three, four, because usually one gets caught in the tumble dryer. One, two, the red one, four, and I've got an orange one as well. Oh, and the rest is pegs in there, so I keep that. These can go in the plastic recycling. I'm going to put them there for now. Yeah, then we've got these sponges, and I never ever use these sponges. I think they're actually what my husband used for the car. Oh, or it might be when we were doing DIY. So they can go in the garage with the DIY stuff. Don't use them for cleaning. Oh, what's next? This is a white. Look how sticky and dirty it is. Is I love I love old tins. My mum always used to have all her stuff in tins, so I always put it like when they bring out a sort of limited edition tin. And this is what we keep our dishwasher tablets in. So that will stay. Um this hmm this is an ultrasonic jewellery cleaner. And to be honest, when I actually use it, it is actually quite good. That's the fluid that goes with it. There's another one actually, but leaked. Mm, do I ever clean my jewellery? 
Well, to be honest, it doesn't need to be down here. I brought it down here to be with the... Oh, it still goes. How it's still going, I don't know. Look, the batteries are all leaked in it. I think it's just got to, it's got to leave here, really, isn't it? So, I'm going to go and put that out with the stuff that's leaving. I ain't used it forever. I'm looking at it like I'm suddenly going to start cleaning the jewellery. That ain't going to happen, is it? Right, bin bags. So another roll of those. Which, as you know... Oh, I thought that thing started up. There's someone cutting the grass in the garden. That's some of that sticky stuff that I actually want to line my drawers with. Not these kind of drawers, these kind of drawers. So, um, I shall keep that. We've got bin bags, black bin bags, which we do use um, for putting rubbish out. Trash, garbage whatever you call it. And then these are the Barbara 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 rubbish bags that go with our bin. So I'm keeping those. I'm not going to keep those. And these are the little ones. If you saw my drawer there, yeah. yeah. whatever, <laughs> drawer declutter. One of the drawer declutters. The last drawer declutter that I did, I think. This drawer. These came out of it. And they're rubbish bin bags for... Actually, these are not them ones. I thought these were for the little bathroom bins. Okay. Well, whatever. That's for that. Don't need to keep those. We can have a roll. Or do we? I don't know. Please hold the line. Jib. Just bloody headaches making me dirt. Yeah, someone's grilling out there. Right, these. Now I don't know. If, these are dishwasher things, but I don't know if they're a current dishwasher or our old dishwasher. This was a big knife rack that went on the top. I'm gonna have to try them in the dishwasher. If they're not our dishwasher now, they can go. I used to love our old dishwasher. Right, Ambipure smelly things. These two can go because they're empty and I don't have any refills. And that, is that the one that goes with that? Looks like it. Actually I'll be able to tell because that is the same as that one. <laughs> It's not the same as that. Yes. So that can go in the glass recycling. Actually, that could go to the chat. That's not bad. Oh. That could go to the charity shop. Because I've got this one here that's already used. And this one can go in the bin. So, glass recycling, glass recycling, plastic recycling, charity shop. Keep that, which goes with that. It's the apple and spice one, we plug it in at Christmas. That's about it, really. Right, floor cloths. I've never used these, but I bought them to try on. Remember I told you about my um, steam mop and how pain the it is? Because you can use it one day, then you've got to wash the toweling like, head that goes on it. And... I don't wash it on its own, obviously. I wait till I've got some other things of the same ilk, you know, cleaning cloths or whatever, to go in the washing machine, which means I can't use the steam mop again until it's washed, which is a pain in the ass. So I bought these to try um, on the steam mop. And then, because there's five of them, I can, like, steam mop every day and then have a week's worth. This is some kind of magic cloth. I can't remember what it was. It's one of them ones, you know, you got the ideal home show and they show you this cloth and they bring it out and they wash windows with it. And they gave me a sample and this is a sample and I can't remember what was special about it. If you've been to the ideal home exhibition or one of those, oh, did it come with that? Because it's with that, look. 
Well, no, I'll probably just put it under that to stop that going rusty or something. And talking of this, this is the wax they gave us when we bought our oak furniture. Because our furniture in the lounge, front room, whatever you want to call it, living room, is all oak. And they gave us this. Maybe that's what I've got that for. Maybe they gave me that with it. God, that annoying noise. Is it annoying you? Should I go and shut the door? Does it sound like a bee? It's two doors down, he's sand sanding down his wooden table. Right, keeping the oak furniture stuff. These are dusters, brand new. One, two, three, four. It's annoying me. I'm going to go and shut the door. As soon as I shut the door, they stopped. But I know if I open it again, they'll start again. One, two, three. I don't like these dusters, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five. Do I like these dusters? Five. There's another one, six. I don't mind them. Mm. Not that I don't use them that often, but I do, mainly because they're in the wrong place. I didn't know they were in there. All right, let's put them to one side of the floor cloth for the time being. What can I do? All right, Swiffer. Where is me Swiffer? I used to be by the side of the fridge. Now, are these supposed to be wet or dry? They're wet, they're supposed to be dry, aren't they? They're dry. None of this is in English. Not one part of that is in English. Swiffer cloths use electrostatic action to attract dirt dust and hair like a magnet, trapping good. Right, I need to keep those and find me Swiffer. Obviously going to keep these Carex soaps. We buy them when they're on cheap, as you can tell, which is why we've got so many of them. I don't actually like Carex because it makes it's got really alcohol in it. It's got alcohol in it. Original protecting. It makes my hands sting, at least I thought it did. But that actually may have been this that made my hands sting. This is the stuff, you know, like when you go into a hospital and you have to do it. I do home use, family bottle, aloe vera. Yeah, this is the thing. This makes my hands sting. I think the care acts might be alright, but we actually mainly use this in the you know the guest toilets. We don't use it in the kitchen because in the kitchen I prefer the dental one. So what I might do is I might go and put these in the toilets. Like spread them around because they're not used in the kitchen anymore, so they don't need to be here. I shall be back. And I don't think I'm going to do anything with that. That can just go. I'll empty it out and put it in the recycling. Put it within plastic balls. Right, so let's go to the charity shop. So let's put that there for now. Right, 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 right. Right, right. Now, these. Flash. I prefer these. Mmm. <laughs> These are like your Lysol wipes at home, the Dettol ones, but they also make these Flash Anti-Bex ones. These are clean. These are these are clean. Oof. If I talk rubbish, it's because I've got a headache. Um, these are good for cleaning, but I don't like the smell of them. They have a really pungent smell. Um, so I might actually give them to my mum, because I prefer these Dettol ones. These smell like apple. <laughs> Cuts, grease and soap scum. And then these, these are the same as cheaper ones, which is, I think I told you about these, I use them on the Swiffer. Um, and then I bought these ones the other day because they was half price and they've got like, well I suppose they're all water. No, they're all the same thing. I put them on the Swiffer and mop the floor with them. Keep you know ones. I might keep one pack of these because we actually um, wiped down we gave away our fridge freezer the other day, and there was nothing wrong with it, but we wiped it down with this before we gave it away, just so it was anti-backed. Mm. Keep one, get rid of two. I don't want to use that many. Right, so that's it. So they're all being kept, they're all being kept, the swiffers being kept, rubbish bags, wax, oh, what we got here? These tissues, this is basically tissues that go in my handbag with a little, you know, pocket type of tissues. Okay. Wait, 
what's left of the bag. Yeah. And then these are ones that we use when we've got a cold and you need to blow our nose. Um, and we have packets of them off down the side in the bedroom. So, keep them doing. Now I'm going to bring the rest of the bits over. Pegs from Ikea. Now, not sure how many pegs I had in that peg box, so keep on with those. This is water and vinegar, white vinegar, you know, for spraying things. This is Method Daily Cleaner Non Toxic Surface Cleaner Clementine with non toxic plant based power green technology, cuts grease and grime. I bought this last, this time last year, spring cleaning last year, because Waitrose has a special offer where they were doing all method stuff half price. And I bought the bathroom cleaner, and it's the first time I tried it. The bathroom cleaner, the kitchen cleaner, and the window cleaner. The bathroom cleaner went upstairs in the bathroom. We like it. We carried on using it. The window cleaner went into the cupboard under the sink. sink. I use it all the time. I have repurchased it. I love it. I don't remember what happened to this. I couldn't find it, because it was at the back of the wrong cupboard. So I shall start using that. This is the wall light when well, you're know, washing jumpers. Um, all the rest of my washing powder is next to the washing machine now because there's a gap. So I don't know where to put this because ideally I don't know whether that's going to stay by the side of the washing machine. Right, this is nothing, is it? Or is it still in there? Glow white colour catcher. Keeps white, white, colours bright, wash with confidence. You can basically chuck them <laughs> whites and colours in the same washing machine like that's ever going to happen. And then this is a sample of silk and wool. It's like the personal version of that. So it from machine or hand washing silk and wool. So I'm going to keep that for when I'm next doing a wool load. Yeah, these things are given to us by Thames Water in an aid to help you use less water. So this is a four minute shower timer. So possibly not great for having a four minute shower. It is quite handy as a timer. And then this is a kitchen studio tap. For a mixer tap. Is it a mixer tap? Yes, of course we do. Um, I think it's supposedly so you can have a Oh, fancy. Made in Italy. Mix it on our tap. I shall try and stick that on our tap. I shall try. Sorry, stick in my belly out. Hold it in. Tin swivel tap. Temp water can accept liability for any damage done to your property when you fit it. Oh, we'll have a go and see what happens. Cow gone, which you're supposed to put in your washing machine. You're supposed to put it in every time. I don't put it in every time. You put it in to stop your washing machine. Calcifying. I do use it, but I'm putting it in for a while. Stain and go! Remove stains, even at 22 temperatures. Actually, I could have used that because I've put something in. No, I've got to, re I've got to rewash it because the stains didn't come out of it. Da da da. Active ingredients. Dance around naked. Bang bang bang. Keep hold of that. That's part of the hose. I don't know what it's doing in there. That's, we've got, I've already got two bottles of this in the other cupboard, so that's got to go in the cleaning cupboard. And this is what I bought the other day, and I ummed and ahmed about what to use it for, but you can use it on toilets, pet beds, coaches, <laughs> coaches? Told ya, me growing makes my mouth go funny. Couches, sofas, mattresses, soft surfaces, so it's quite handy like when someone stays, strip the bed, spray the mattress, blah blah blah, kill all the stripped to cockle, Listeria, Salmonella, E. coli, athlete's foot, <laughs> influenza, germs off of it. Put new sheets on, bang, you know, your person's on a nice clean bed. And I actually have used it when Lucky came home from the vets. While he was gone, I sprayed all his beds because obviously he was gone for a while. And so so his bed was all bacteria free when he came home, like with his, um, you know, stitches, whatever. So 
Right, so what is left? It's just these two items here. And this goes on the steam mop, and it's supposed to be a carpet glider, so you can steam your carpet. I try to steam my carpets once, and I don't know, it just made them smell really awful. Now they're probably because it's really because they're really old and they need replacing, and they are being replaced. We're getting rid of all the carpet downstairs and having wood floors put in, but we haven't got the money for that yet because the money that we have got is paying for the boiler and the roof this year, so wood floors, are probably new kitchen will probably be next year. Um, so I don't think I'll ever use it then because. I'm not going to steam the carpets again and then we're getting wood floors. Uh, yeah, so I don't think I'll keep that. I think I'll just put that in the plastic recycling. And then what is this? Oh, I know what this is. This is all the bits that go with it. Oh my God! Blinking, blanking, blonking. It's got a spare one of the things I was just talking about. I didn't know I had a spare one. I didn't know I had a spare one. Oh, it's got loads of bits with it. It comes off over the steam mop. It comes apart. It's got like a bit that comes out and you can use it as a steam. It's got a little mini foot. It's got all these bits. Oh, that does that go to me? Oh, oh that's just... Oh, that's for doing windows. And that's for doing something else. Hmm. Well, I'll keep all those bits and I'll play with it, maybe. Keep those, hang them on the mop for now so I don't remember forget what they are. So that's that cupboard done. Now I'm gonna leave all this stuff here because I'm gonna unload the other cupboard now. Let's just move around. Sorry about the mess on the floor. <laughs> that's where I when I washed the cupboard, I put that on it to stop it dripping on the floor because Lucky's like to eat it. So I'm going to unload this cupboard now. The scary cupboard under the sink. <laughs> 